Bonnet is a UK based company and you've described it as a Tesla supercharger network for all EVs and all chargers. But I think we should set the record straight right away. Um, this is not about building out a charging infrastructure, right? Uh, no, no, it's just the software for it. So can you explain a little bit about what you're doing? So this is an app that you're building and what is your geographic uh, focus? Yeah, as with with all uh, startups, we're focusing on the specific area, which is currently London and a bit broader the UK. And then we will be quickly followed by Germany and the Netherlands as they're the mobility hub sort of here in Europe. But yeah, to answer your question with uh, the infrastructure, we're actually just providing the software that allows people to access this infrastructure. Because if you have a Tesla, it's all good and dandy because you have the Tesla supercharging network. But you know, if you don't have a Tesla and even Tesla drivers that want to use other companies uh, chargers, uh, it's not as easy. What is it like right now in the UK, specifically London, since this is the initial market that you're targeting? What is the charging infrastructure like? What are the pain points for people who have an EV? If you're living in a city like London, the chances of you having a driveway and a garage are actually, you know, very minimal. I think 40% or over 40% don't have access to a home charger that they can install. So then you're forced to charge with public chargers and public chargers are owned by different companies. Um, you know, they have different types of apps that a user has to download on their phone, different RFID cards they have to carry in their wallet. And that's essentially the minefield that drivers have to go through nowadays. You know, you have upwards of five apps on your phone just to charge with different chargers at different locations. And what we're doing is we're just giving them a one-stop shop uh, for all of those chargers. You described a number of different uh, companies that are providing the charging infrastructure. So is the first step partnering and have you partnered with anyone yet? We have partnered with uh, several of these charge point operators, they're called, or CPOs. And um, that is our main priority is getting as much of these guys on board as possible. Um, ideally, 100% of them so that users have the biggest choice or the largest sort of uh, breadth of uh, chargers. And then do you have any competitors right now? Oh, yeah, of course, as all startups, we, we do have uh, competitors and quite a few actually. Um, but, you know, we have a unique uh, position um, because we are the first ones to offer this as sort of a subscription. Um, so people, you know, usually what they do is they charge per kilowatt hour. Um, as you would with like fuel uh, per gallon or per liter. But what that means is that currently they face very varying prices for these uh, kilowatt hours. You know, you can charge for 20 pence on one charger per kilowatt hour and for 30 on a different one. And what we do is we actually standardize all of these and make these packages that are a lot more simpler and accessible to the consumer, uh, something similar to your phone contract, for instance. Well, Patrick, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.